So remember back in the day when reality TV stars got their phones taken away while they were in their houses or whatever, and the fans just didn't know what the hell was going on? Well, y'all, we are in different times where Zeus lets their cast keep their phones and their cast spoils everything. Let's get into it. Sorry, I was trying to be nice, but that bitch, you look a mess. So remember when Jonathan and Rio were in the bad boy's house in season one and they were beefing really bad? Anthony is Jonathan's friend and he did recently leak up with Rio at his club. Jonathan got heat of that and this is what he had to say. After that post did surface, he basically told Anthony that he would beat the shit out of him. And basically he already knows what the fuck is going on and how he gives it up this that and the third but essentially this is where all the beef started between anthony and jonathan the tea is hot the tea is hot y'all so it did not stop there jonathan also told anthony that he has something for him once they get to the bad boys house keep in mind this was before the cast was revealed so jonathan quickly took it back i'm also going to attach that live y'all ready to see what i'm gonna do to anthony on season two Y'all ready to see what I'm going to do to Anthony? He did comment on this post and said that he's not going to be a part of it. But that's a lie. Anyways, Darrell, Jonathan, and Chef D did go live together. And then Anthony ended up calling all three of them out on his. Receipts that they claim they have. And, is, feed is, the and feeding into it is really, it's really saying that there's a possibility Anthony was talking about me. Bitch, if you know I'm your friend, do you? there's no question. And I don't like that. And then you want to sit there and be on the live and kiki and everything and make faces and do. I don't like that shit. He wouldn't like it if, it, if I was doing that with people he didn't like. So I, I, that's, where I'm, that's where I'm fucked up at. My problem is with D and Jonathan. They don't even like each other. Jonathan hates D. At the baddies premiere, he was like, I'm going to beat his ass. Now y'all linked up because I, you have a problem with me getting money at my club. Bitch, ain't nobody said a fuck thing when Gutter and all these other punks that I don't like was at Jonathan's shop. I didn't tell Jonathan a fuck thing because I want Jonathan to get his money. But let me, but let Rio hit me up to come spend money at my club. I didn't book Rio, first of all. But you, but, but Rio came and brought me money to the club to have fun for his birthday. And I'm taking his money because I have a business. Bitch, I can't pay my bills on friendship. I'm about to drive to Houston right now. Cause that, I just, I wanted that hoe to open his mouth. He don't even know. Bitch shouldn't even open his mouth. Bitch, you know I'm about that. Bitch, I'm about to drive to Houston and whoop Anthony bitch ass and everybody in his house. Bitch, I'm not in London no more. Bitch, talking about jealous, you bum. Bitch, you was a... Bro, I'm not the one to play with. Talking about bully. Bitch, you the one who playing them games. And now that you playing the games, let the motherfucking games begin, bitch. This, I'm not playing with no nigga. I'm knocking you niggas the fuck out, bitch. Talking about bully. Bitch, you niggas brought this shit on yourself. Hey, friend. Oh, yeah. Hey, bitch. Anthony said, hang on. Bro, like, I don't even hang around people like y'all. Like, for real, humbly saying, you niggas are out of there. So because the bad boy season started damn near right after this, they ended up fighting in the house and it is alleged that Anthony was jumped by Chef D and Jonathan, but Anthony said this. So I'm everyone's storyline this season. I'm used to it. A hashtag mad hoes link up jump me because y'all too weak. So expected that out of Jonathan and Chef D because y'all used to fight in that people that's 120 pounds. Not a stain on me, Mark Bump. Welcome to Houston. Ready, set, go. Jonathan said, tell these internet trolls, stop the capping. You got beat up, dusted by me, and after that, what you and Chef D got going on and got shit to do with me. I'm a one-man army. You know how I was coming when I seen you. Now the heat here, it's time for you to get active. And Jonathan said that Anthony basically started the whole beef. After this happened, Chef D also had a couple things to say about Anthony. I really want Anthony to stop lying and gassing y'all up. 
His hand is not broke. Only thing broke is him. He also had on five wolf rings with spikes trying to stab me. He's the biggest, weakest link, and it's going to show. So, y'all, like I said, the tea is hot. Anthony is not liked in the house. Chef D also went online as well on his story, and he also exposed a couple things about Anthony. To keep a long story short, Chef D did say that Anthony doesn't own anything. His club is not even his name. None of the cards that he quote unquote own is not his name. He rents everything, this, that, and the third, just basically exposing everything about him. Go on this video on my channel to catch up on Chef D and Anthony's beef. Bring my bitch, bring my friend out this house. I'm ready for my friend to come out this motherfucking house. Bitch, I'm not acting like I'm the hardest bitch out, bitch. And all of y'all that do know me and bitch, if you watching this right now, bitch, you know, I'm going to keep it above always every day, bitch. It would be the same for you if we was cool like that. But bitch, what you mean you out here comfortably like you out here on your own terms? Bitch, if you wasn't behind all them security or if you didn't feel like you had nobody to ride with you, you You rolled Natalie like my like my grand said, you rolled Natalie to uh curtail to to be at the premiere to to motherfucking be on the show to get who you wanted to get on the show. Bitch, y'all had these people thinking that they auditioned for this shit and they had a fair chance in this game, but everybody on the motherfucking show know each other. Besides, you know, the, the people that was on reality TV already. Bring my bitch. Any real friend will want a piece too. Bitch, because you've been, you been wanting to fight all this time. And you found a perfect time when you feel like a real bitch stepped up. To, to, and you avenge your avengers through the next bitch. When you going to do it? So I got a question for you, Chef D. When you going to do it? When you going to do it? When you gonna get off that concrete ass of yours and toes? When you gonna do it? When you gonna stop sucking dick, kissing ass, wiping Natalie ass, come from behind Natalie? When you gonna come from behind them security guards? You talking about you in Houston comfortably. Bitch, I will be comfortable with 20 security guards too, bitch. Quite frankly, I'll be doing the same thing you doing, bitch. Going, any real friend will want a piece too. Tell us what's going on in the house. Right. My uncle stay in the same neighborhood. Of course, I'm going to figure out where the house is. All it took was for one person to text me and say, It's going down over there. It's going down. It's going down. Knowing that my friend was injured already, it's going down. Bitch, no, it's not that I was coming to... Get into it with the whole Zeus crew. It's not like I have a problem with Natalie or any of them up there, bitch. That's my motherfucking friend, bitch. If I have to go up there and go drag him out that house for him to bring his motherfucking ass home because he up there trying to prove a point to bitches on TV, bitch, I'm going to get my motherfucking friend, bitch. So y'all heard it here. Anthony did leave the bad boys clubhouse. He did go on his story and did confirm that he was let go and fired by both Natalie and Zeus because he had an opinion about the show and then they didn't follow through and they didn't like his opinion. He said this, but in my opinion, I just feel like he left because there was a lot of pee on him. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, but I completely understand. Nobody wants to sit there and fight every single day, especially not with two big ass <laughs> like Jonathan and Chef D, okay? So I completely understand why the hell he wanted to leave. Let me show y'all what he had to say. So as I said, Anthony did leave the house and he said, Natalie and Zeus mad at me for saying the cast was lame because we all wanted to see new people, even me. That's why I'm out. And that's what they wanted me to do, but I didn't. And that's why I got fired. Not he got fired, child. <laughs> Like I said, I do not believe this for a split second. I truly believe Anthony was just beefing with too many people because technically he was into it with Darrell, Jonathan, and Chef D, and it got physical with Jonathan and Chef D. And he was probably like, this is like the first or second day of the season, and I'm already fighting multiple people multiple times. 
So again, I understand why he wanted to leave. And I know that's not why he left, but quote unquote child, because he say he left because he had an opinion and Zeus didn't agree. But girl, we all know why you left, girl. They ran you out the house, girl. Just say that shit, girl. Just say that. But besides Anthony leaving, I want to touch on a couple of things regarding this situation. First of all, how do y'all feel about Jonathan literally fighting Anthony because Anthony linked up with Rio at his club? Like, do y'all feel like it was Jonathan's business? Are you like faulting Anthony because you just feel like, you know, Jonathan was your friend and you were there when they fought? So it's like, that's your friend. Why aren't you loyal to your friend? Why are you linking? Like, <laughs> how do y'all feel? Like, because Anthony said that Rio came to his club and was spending a bag there, okay? So like I said, let me know how y'all feel about this situation. Me personally, I understand both sides, but to me, it's just a little childish. Like I cannot help but to say that. And I love me some Jonathan, but he's giving me bully right now. He is giving me bully like, okay, because listen, this is my point of view, right? So, okay, you fought Rio when y'all were in the Bad Boys Clubhouse a year ago, right? A year ago. And of course, Anthony was your friend back then and when he did link up with Rio, right? But do you really, if Rio comes to Anthony's club willing to spend the bag, or like, seriously, do you expect Anthony to turn down money? Not that they're best friends, like... They just probably linked up that one time, but it's like you're so mad over this one link up and you just diminished your whole friendship because of it and you beat the shit out of him. I don't know, y'all. I just don't think it's that serious. I really don't think it's that serious. I feel like this is very high school. It's giving high school, middle school drama. Like I feel like that's some shit I would have got mad about when I was in middle school. But me personally, I just don't care. I just feel like as long... You know what I'm saying? Like, if you if you my friend and you link up with my op, yeah, I'm going to look at you kind of funny, but I'm not going to fight you about it. Like, I'm going to just keep you at a distance. I'm going to just know my role with you. You know what I'm saying? And as long as y'all not talking shit behind my back, like, I just don't understand the problem to where it had to get physical. But you know what? They are not called bad boys for no reason. And yeah. And I'm going to touch on a few more things. So the situation between Chef D and Anthony is just crazy to me. Do y'all realize that literally whenever people fall out, and I'm not going to say like on every every single friend situation, this does not happen, I know. But most situations when close friends fall out, why, first of all, one, why the fuck are you going to the internet with your issues at your big ass age? Y'all are literally 20, and y'all's what, in y'all late 20s pushing 30 or in y'all early 30s? Why are y'all going to the internet with y'all friendship problems? Me personally, if we're friends and we fall out, I promise you, if you go to the internet with our problems, I am never going to fuck with you again. It's just embarrassing. And not only do they go to the internet with their problems, but they also expose each other. Like Chef D literally exposed Anthony and Anthony exposed Chef D too because Anthony said that Chef D got all his stuff repoed and repossessed. You know what I'm saying? And then Chef D basically said the same thing about Anthony, how, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you you don't own anything. You rent. Uh, you, you, you get co-signs. You have a CPN. You don't own anything. It's just embarrassing. Like, that just tells me that y'all were never really friends. Y'all aren't friends. Because even if I fall out with somebody, I'm still going to care about them a little bit to not go to the internet and just completely embarrass them and put their business out there, especially something that they felt comfortable talking to me about. Like, what? I don't understand. I don't get it. These are grown ass men, too, y'all. Grown ass men fighting like high schoolers online let me know how y'all feel about that like I just don't understand the internet shit like why do y'all have to go to the internet with every single thing especially with a former close friend like literally y'all 
Chef D was living with Anthony at one point. Like, this was your roommate. So, like, you cared about him enough to take him into your home. And then as soon as y'all fall out, you throw it in his face. And same thing with Chef D, because Chef D um told went online and told Anthony's personal business, too. It's weird. Yeah, so basically, all of that drama went on before they all linked up and went to the bad boy's house. And then once they got there, Anthony basically got tag teamed. He claims he got jumped by Chef D and Jonathan. Girl, so apparently, child, they, they run their mouth so much online, we basically got the first glimpse of the first two, three episodes. <laughs> like, come on now. Come on. I just remember, like, back then when reality TV, child, some people, the, the producers and the owners of the shows used to take their phones. No phones, no nothing. So it was like literally everything that was released or that was aired on TV was a fucking surprise to us. But it's not like that now because Zeus let these motherfuckers keep their phones and I still don't get why. I still don't get why. Anyways, so let me know how y'all like this video, how y'all like the tea that I gave y'all. What do y'all think about my opinions? What are your opinions? Please like, comment, subscribe, and please, please turn that motherfucking notification bell on so y'all can know every time your girl posts. Bye.